I don't know what I would do if I lost him. I mean, because they told me over and over that he could have. He's lucky to be alive. Sarah Fish says her son was an inch from death after he fell and hit his head during a potentially deadly game with his friends. My son and his friends uh, were doing what they call a duct tape challenge. A quick search online shows dozens of videos of teens doing it. One friend wraps another in duct tape and sets a timer to see how long it takes to break out. Last week, 14-year-old Skylar Fish tried the challenge with friends, but he lost his balance and hit his head on a concrete and metal window frame, shattering his eye socket and cheekbone, causing bleeding on his brain that needed immediate surgery. They uh, did the best to fix everything, but his nerves and his eyes were pinched off. Um, so he can't see out of his eye. The damage to his eyesight might be permanent, and he will also have to relearn normal everyday tasks. If he would have hit it on a differently, like an inch over, he could have died. If uh, his friend didn't flip him over when he was having a seizure and choking up blood, he could have died. Oh! <coughs> now Skyler and his mom want to warn parents and teens about the dangers of this challenge and other similar challenges kids see and often try. They're just looking at what's fun, what's cool, what's going to impress their friends. Oh, I can break out of this duct tape. I'm the strongest. I'm the best. They're not thinking, oh, what if I fall and hit my head? Now, Sarah Fish told me that Renton police actually opened an investigation in Skyler's case because his injuries were so bad, they suspected foul play. We can tell you that they plan on closing this case without pressing charges as a result of finding out what they were doing. Live in Seattle, Tommy Aswinski, Q13 News.